Hey everyone, we are playing Palana Foods up against Noise in the casual lobby and we're going to mulligan this hand. So you may be wondering, oh this is terrible as well, oh dear we're in trouble. Uh, you may be wondering why we're not playing Andy again and the reason is that I was, was tempted to bring this to a game night kit uh, this weekend, so it would have been last weekend if you're watching it on Monday, um, because it's playing Illegal Arms Factory and I'm still not sure about it. Part of me really likes it. But, oh dear, everything is really terrible. And let's sacrifice uh, Caprice. <sighs> Part of me really likes it, but in the last few games I've played, nothing... Uh, it hasn't really worked. We either haven't drawn it, or it's just never been a good chance to res it. If you're unclear what it is, it is uh, two, three costs to res, six to trash. And it's basically, you gain one credit and one card at the start of your turn. Uh, why I'm playing it over something like Palana Agroplex is because it's less reliant on the runner. It means that uh, Employee Strike doesn't just give them a card, which is pretty terrible. And yeah, that's kind of it. So Keyhole is something we have to worry about. It looks like we're going to be losing a Nisei. And yeah, everything's really bad. So we're at a very awkward point where we have credits and nothing else. Probably should have put the brain trust down. If they're not checking remotes, they might start, but we'll see. A Beth out of noise. I wasn't expecting that. Still nothing. Uh, so if we draw, this just gets worse and worse. I do swear that we play ice in this deck, um, apparently not enough. That is another consideration, I'm considering putting in a Colossus instead and another Cedar Adaptive Barrier because both of them are really really good. So they have five clicks, we should definitely be trying to stick down a Brain Trust or a Clone Retirement or anything at this stage because we have a lot of cards to get rid of. This is actually kind of amazing. So we're just going to score a Brain Trust or clone retirement uh won't be removing any bad pub anything like that so just get it out of hand get point on the board and yeah hopefully they don't go oh let's check hq so a strange noise deck and noise could actually cause problems for this illegal arms as well because they do play imp and if they imp it they get the bad pub which instantly makes it terrible we lose another jackson uh, but we do play friends in high places, so not altogether terrible. Medium and keyhole, that seems a bit excessive, but uh, alright. Let's put that there, let's put this onto server 1, and let's take a credit. Because we don't play restructure and have our hand just be agendas and trashables. Surprised that they haven't gone for the Nisei. Good agenda to get. What's worth noting is their stack was huge. Now I am bad for sticking to to minimum deck limits, but uh, this seems kind of mad. So one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, Kraken. Uh. 10, 14, <laughs> that is a mighty deck. All right, we're just going to get the branch scored, put ourselves one step close to victory, and hope that they don't run. I'm very surprised they're not being super aggressive, and also not installing a ton of viruses, or just even going for this. At the very least, you get a Jackson into the game. Uh, best case scenario, you get scores. More mediums. Suddenly there's quandaries and looking too hot. Because they can easily run, they can get a parasite. Dirty laundry, you'd have to assume. Yeah, that makes sense. Probably was thinking HQ, but yeah, you might as well pick up the Nisei while it's going. Alrighty. Uh, let's draw for ice. Or not. Let's never play Celebrity Gift. Thankfully, they have not found an imp. 
that would cause us massive issues. Um, but they're starting to burn through their deck a bit more. I see. Are they going to blackmail us? There. Alrighty then. Not what I expected, and we also have the same old thing on the board, so that's going to get out of control pretty fast. And I think we kind of have to go for this and trust in the side game, even though they have the same old thing, blackmail. But at least I'm not playing Rumor Mill. This also gets around us scoring a clone tyrant, I think. Because it's even if they have zero, they're considered to have one additional. So yeah, we just got to put up with blackmail after blackmail, apparently. It does beg the question, why not play Valencia? But I suppose you've the two-pronged threat, maybe. Are we going to see same old thing blackmail here? Try and win it in one turn? We have drawn a lot of agendas though, so you'd have to hope that RNT won't give up the ghost us that badly. Yeah, uh, that's fine. We can put this down. They will be able to same old thing blackmail us though, and be able to get through a lot more times. So yeah, we're actually in a lot of trouble here. And possibly not the best showcase for this deck. But hey, at least there's a bit of inventiveness on the other side. Um, Kraken is less good. If they're looking for cards to trash, that would be one. Uh, yeah, so they can keyhole keyhole and they might as well just medium then. And we're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Demolition run as well. Fair enough. So they're going to see a ton of our deck, trash it all, and steal the rest pretty much. Interesting. So let's see if we have a lose. And uh, they only need one more agenda, so pretty much that is it. So it's interesting if nothing else. Somehow we survive, but you'd have to assume same thing blackmail will uh, finish it off. Unless we can draw into something we cannot. Alright, fire this on R&D and see what happens. Baddy, unfortunately no good to us here. Uh, we've lost one Caprice. Just the one. So there's one somewhere else in there. Yeah, so they'll see the rest of the deck. Alright, well, I think this was a pretty short game. So we'll try and do another one. And maybe it'll go slightly better. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, odd one. And instead of writing what I am talking about. Uh, so yeah, not the most enjoyable to play against, but uh, an interesting one nonetheless. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.